Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please bear witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them even though I know they're not subscribers. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, hold on one second. If you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. So every little thing that I do create, including the calls and the videos, I share them completely free on the channel. Uh, and not just any random videos, it's actually questions and requests and issues with people's shop Shopify store. They ask me, I answer, and I make a video. So it's a win-win situation, but it's your decision, I'll let you decide, and I respect your decision, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. And here I am again, back with another requested video as always, which is how to hide the product count from the collection page on your Shopify store. Now I mean the number of products that's been shown on the collection page. In this video, I will show you how to hide that easily by using our own custom code. And it's very simple, so without any more talking, Let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. They have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every call I do share, every tutorial I do create, I do demonstration on down team because it's the most used one, also is the most requested one. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free Shopify team, the most used once again, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try my goals behind the scenes on all of these teams. So I'd make sure that even if you're not using down, using one of these should work for you just fine. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. And I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people because it's gonna be like half hour video to try them on all of these teams. And I just have to say this again in the beginning, so I give you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me on the video doing it on down team and you might be thinking oh maybe it's not working for the others no it is here is your peace of mind and without the way let's just get to it show you how to hide the product counts from the collection page and this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks so every little thing that you see in the Shopify store I did it in tutorials literally everything so if you saw anything on the Shopify store that you like and you think it looks good and you want to implement it in your store as well then just check out the channel because once it's here, that means it's already done in one of my previous videos. Because I don't remove the changes from here. I keep them so people can see them. Let me access the accessories, for example. So, oh yeah, banner like this, and center a title. Make sure to check out the channel. So as you can see in here, it shows 32 products. How to remove this? It's very easy, no worries. So we keep this page open. As always, we do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. Uh, if you are on the Shopify dashboard, click on online store, teams, and click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. So it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find a specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy or something. Use the search bar at the top left corner. And again, I have to repeat this for the million time again. It's going to be either base.css or team.css or style.css and some custom made team is going to be custom.css but that's rarely happens mostly base.css or team or style I know my case is base I'm going to type in base here it is click on it a bunch of CSS code will show up after that scroll all the way down let me drag this because it's huge file here we go so now we need to create some space in here at the bottom of the file to paste in our code but there is no space to create that space Click front of the last thing in here, which is closing bracket in this case. Then hit enter on your keyboard, I mean. Click enter. Here we go. We have a completely new space to paste in our code. And where are you going to get that code from? As always, from description box. Scroll down description box and you will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this very, very short code as you can see. And this code will do the trick for us and hide in the product count. So select the whole code in here, right click copy and get back to the product page or uh, base.css sorry the code editor and paste it at the bottom of the file let me paste it in here we're good to go let's just click on save button wait for a couple of seconds okay save it we will get back reload the page and see the magic happens here we go no more product counts anymore as you can see 
so it doesn't show the product account anymore and that's how you hide the product account on the collection page on your Shopify store so if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one